Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So today we had Oliver Dowden, more like Oliver Doldrums, turn up on Sky News talking about COVID certificates. Not passports, but certificates. Now don't be misled, it's the same thing as the passports, they just renamed them because their behaviour psychologists at the government detected, rightfully, public hesitancy and concern over the use of the name passports. Freedom passports, that's what they started off calling them. Then vaccine passports. Now they've determined to call them vaccine certificates. I think because it doesn't sound so permanent, a certificate doesn't sound as permanent as a passport. But this is the same thing. Make no mistake, it's a certificate, it's a passport, it's the same thing that will be attached to the digital identity trust framework, which will have all your details, it will eventually have all of your financial transactions, social credit system, it's all of those things. Oliver Dowden reveals government is considering COVID certificates to get fans back to large events as he is skewered for not being able to answer how many people will be allowed in the Crucible for Pilot test event. So as we can see here in the Daily Fail, Oliver Dowden says government's considering COVID certificates. Once again, this is the government just pretending that, oh, we're just considering these certificates. We haven't made a decision yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. They spent a fortune on developing these apps with companies, had contracts with them from back, back in June last year. But oh, we're just considering it still. Nonsense. But again, look at the way it's covered. Here we see the lovely Oliver Doldrums and next to him is a picture of a large crowd at a gig, all having a great time, basically implying that you, you can get back to this, back to enjoying your life at gigs. Young people, you can go and get drunk at festivals, but you have to have one of these COVID certificates. It's pure temptation, coercing the public by taking them away over the last year, locking them down, banning them from what people naturally need to do, which is socialize, and then saying, well, you can have it back, but, but you've got to get the jab first, and then the certificate using temptation to coerce people. It's as simple as that. And as you can see, we have Sky News doing the same for the football fans. Fans could be back in significant numbers this summer with help of COVID certificates tempting people back, but giving you an ultimatum. These certificates are passports, just with a different name. This is the destination that they are pushing you towards. Digital entrapment. You have been warned. I don't know why, but whenever I see this type of mainstream media pushing the certificates or passports and saying, look, lovely festivals and gigs, holidays, all for free, just need to get a certificate, it reminds me of the child catcher from Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. What exactly will be COVID certificates and what will that entail? Well, um, from the 21st of June, if, if all goes uh, to plan in the way that I described, we hope to get uh, people back in significant numbers. Children, where are you? As part of that, another thing that we are considering is a COVID certification and we'll be testing whether we can use COVID certification to help uh, facilitate the return of sports. Obviously final decisions have not been taken on that and I'm working with the Chancellor of Duchy of Lancaster, Michael Gove, who is leading on our COVID certification uh, work programme. But I think that is a potential tool that could help the return of, of, of the things that we love. I have lots of lovely goodies for you. It's only if we do those things that we can even start considering the kind of large numbers of people returning that we so desperately want from the 21st of June, in which I'm making my, my number one mission. I've been meeting uh, several times this week. That's why we've got Nick Heitner, a uh, very famous theatre producer, David Ross, working with many, many people to see how we can get people back safely in large numbers. And all free today. Cherry pies, cream puffs, ice cream, treacle tarts. Treacle tarts and ice cream. Because we really want these to be a permanent uh, reopenings. And one of the things that I know that frustrated people uh, last year was uh, not being able to have that, that sort of certainty. 
obviously, as, as, as you and your viewers will appreciate, this terrible disease um, has uh, changed over time, but we will be we'll be doing everything we can to ensure that it's it's permanent. I'm sure you'll, you'll appreciate that we, we can't foresee every um, last eventuality, but the, what we are doing is trying to get the conditions right so this this will be a, a permanent uh, reopening. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, inside, my little ears. Ah!